So I wanted to make this special video about my predictions for the NBA season. And I'm going to predict not just the standings, but how they, who wins the title. And I'm going to explain every pick and why I picked, uh, who I picked to win each, you know, spot. So let's get started. Uh, let's go to the Western Conference. I have the Houston Rockets winning the division with 52 wins and 30 losses. And of course, the Rockets are still the most loaded team in that division. They just got Russell Westbrook. So that should help them uh, stay really well in the regular season. Um, whether that translates to the playoffs is another thing. I have the Spurs battling it out with them at the very end. I have the New Orleans uh, Pelicans. New Orleans Pelicans, I think they're going to start slow because Zion Williamson is going to be out for six to eight weeks, last I heard. But I think they're going to get hot and they're going to barely, barely miss the playoffs. And that's going to suck for them because the Pelicans have a lot of promise. They've got Williamson. They just got Brandon Ingram. They just got Lonzo Ball. But I think not having Williamson to start the season is going to hurt them a lot. The Dallas Mavericks are in rebuilding mode. I think they'll go 30-52. The Memphis Grizzlies are starting rebuilding mode, so it's going to be really tough for them early on, and they're going to they're going to suffer a lot this year. In the Northwest, I have the Denver Nuggets beating out the Utah Jazz for the uh, Northwest Division title. So I have them making the playoffs as a four seed. The Jazz will make the playoffs as a five seed. I have the Portland Trailblazers winning forty nine games this year. I think they're going to make the playoffs as a seven seed. Um, I think they still have great potential to do good things. Damian Lillard is the rock of that team, but we'll see what they can do in the playoffs. The Minnesota Timberwolves still only have Carl Anthony Towns, and I think that that's not enough for this team to compete with anyone. Uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder, of course, we know they're rebuilding. Um, they're not going to do much this year, so they're going to finish with 23 wins. And I have the LA Clippers. The LA Clippers winning the Pacific Division with 54 wins. Kawhi Leonard is probably the best addition along with Paul George. No matter how much I feel about them personally, I think it's a great addition to the Clippers squad. They're going to beat out the Lakers and win the division. The LA Lakers are going to also win 54 games, but they're just going to miss out on the one seed due to a tiebreaker with the Clippers. Uh, LeBron James and Anthony Davis are going to lead that squad back to the playoffs for the first time in six years. I have the Golden State Warriors taking a bit of a dip. They're going to finish 48-34, and 34, but they're going to make the playoffs as the 8th seed. The Sacramento Kings are going to regress by a game or two. I think they're still all a ways away from making the playoffs. Uh, they're, they're bringing in Luke Walton as their new coach, and that's going to be good, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Luke Walton has not proven that he can coach winners yet. The Phoenix Suns are still in rebuilding. They still have Devin Booker, who's an amazing talent, but otherwise, the Phoenix Suns are just terrible. Here we go. The Eastern Conference. I have the Miami Heat winning the Southeast Division at 47-35, and 35, but at the same time, I have them as a 7th seed because there's going to be a loaded a loaded Atlantic Division. We'll get to that in a bit. The Miami Heat, um, they're going to have a good time getting things together, and I think that they will win the division. The Orlando Magic. I have the Magic winning that um uh, finishing second in the division. And I think the Magic are a great talent, and them making the playoffs last year was no joke. They have some great talent on their squad, uh, such as Nikola Vucevic, <laughs> messing up his name there. Aaron Gordon is amazing. And I think the Magic will make the playoffs again. Michael Jordan owns the Charlotte Hornets, and he has not been able to get them over the hump. And they're once again rebuilding. They're going to finish 27-55. The Washington Wizards are a team that's in rebuilding without even realizing it. And I think that they're gonna finish they're gonna finish twenty-six and fifty-six. I think they're gonna finally hit their downward spiral this year. They just don't have it. Um Bradley Beal, John Wall, can they both have career years? Can they both get it back? I don't think they can. And I think they're gonna finish twenty-six and fifty-six. They're gonna miss the playoffs, obviously. Um I have the Atlanta Hawks finishing in last place. Um, I think they're an up-and-coming team. I just don't think that they have the experience to do anything. DeAndre Hunter, Trey Young are great. But beyond that, what else do they have? The Toronto Raptors. So everybody thinks the Raptors are going to fall apart now that Kawhi Leonard is gone. 
I'm not one of those people. I think the, the Raptors still have enough talent to uh, put up a fight and even win the division. I think they're going to finish as the two seed in their conference. And I think they're going to do some damage uh, in the playoffs as well. I don't think they're, I don't think they're quite done yet. And, you know, you don't sleep on the Raptors. They're still a very talented team. They still have Kyle, Kyle Lowry. They still have Fred Van Fleet. They're Sergi Ibaka. They have a lot of good talent there. So you got to be – don't sleep on them. The Philadelphia 76ers, I have them finishing second. Joel Embiid is amazing. He's a great talent. Uh, you have uh, Joel Embiid and you have uh, Matisse. Uh, you have Jimmy Butler now on the team. So you have a lot of, actually, excuse me, no, Tobias Harris is on the team, Ben Simmons. So the Sixers have a lot of uh, lot of good things coming for them. The Miami Heat have Jimmy Butler. That's a correction in case anyone says it in the video. The Boston Celtics, they just, they just continue to do well. They have Kemba Walker. They have Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Gordon Hayward. Um, people sleep on them sometimes, but I think the Celtics can make a good run. They're going to finish in fourth place. Um, like I said, I think this division is really loaded. And the Celtics, for the Celtics to finish third in this division means it's a really good division. So I think the Atlantic is going to be one of the best divisions in the NBA. So the Brooklyn Nets signed Kyle, uh, excuse me, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. Durant's not playing this year, but Kyrie Irving is. And this is a testament to how good Kyrie Irving is that I believe he can carry an entire team by himself, along with help from Joe Harris and DeAndre Jordan. And I think the Nets have the talent to finish 49-33 and 33 and make the playoffs. I think the Nets will do good things this year. I don't think they're going to win a title, obviously, but I think that they can carry themselves. The Knicks are trash right now. They're rebuilding. They're not anywhere close to being a contender. They totally lost out on the free agency, and it's going to show. The Greek Freak is going to lead the Milwaukee Bucks back to the one seed in the East. And I, there's not much to say. The Bucks are just a well-oiled machine. It goes right through the Greek Freak, and they just they play very well. I think they're going to be a threat again. The Indiana Pacers, I have them finishing second. Victor Ol- Oladipo is going to be back. Uh, he's going to pull himself and his team up. Malcolm Brogdon is going to be good. The Pacers have a lot going for them, and a lot of people underrate them. The Detroit Pistons, I have them barely missing the playoffs. I have them finishing 43-39, and which, as you see, is just short of the 8th seed, where, you know, I had the Magic at 45-37. and So I have the Pistons just missing it. I don't trust Blake Griffin to stay healthy. I don't trust the rest of the team to execute like they did last year. Andre Drummond, Reggie Jackson, I don't trust Derrick Rose to stay healthy. So the Pistons are not high on my list, and I don't have them doing much. The Chicago Bulls are still rebuilding, but I do like what I see there. Laurie Markkinen, and then, of course, uh, you have uh, Zach Levine, Otis Porter Jr. Uh, They have good things coming for them, but they're not there yet. Cleveland Cavaliers, can they still stay healthy? They still have Kevin Love on their team, but they don't have much else. Tristan Thompson, Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance Jr., they're not a winning team. So... Here we go. Playoff predictions. Let's go with every series. In a series you never thought you would ever see, the LA Clippers, the one seed against the Golden State Warriors, the eight seed. And you gotta, you gotta keep in mind by this time, the Warriors will have their original three back together. So let's see. Game one, I have the Clippers winning this one. Game two, Warriors take it because, you know, they're gonna steal a game on the road. Game three, we'll have the Warriors winning, so it puts a little doubt in the minds of everybody thinking that the Clippers won't do it. Game four, Clippers take it. Game five, Clippers get it. And then the Clippers finish them off in six games. So there you go. Clippers win that series. Utah Jazz and the Denver Nuggets. This will probably be a really good series. I'll have the Nuggets winning the first game. Jazz taking game two. Jazz taking game three and four. Nuggets winning game five. and the Utah Jazz finishing off in six. And the reason why I'm going with the Jazz in a series like that is I think I think Mike Conley will be the difference in the playoffs, and I think it'll help the Utah Jazz when they get there. And I think I don't I'm not as high on the Nuggets as others are. Houston Rockets, here we go. James Harden, Russell Westbrook against the San Antonio Spurs. I have the Rockets winning the first two games. I have the Spurs winning game three. 
I have the Rockets winning game four, and I have the Rockets winning game five. So you see how I feel about the Rockets and their abilities against the Spurs. The Spurs will probably put up a little bit of a fight, but I think the Rockets are the better team right now, even with all their departures and their age. LA Lakers and the Portland Trailblazers is probably one of my best, most favorite playoff series in the past. I have the Lakers winning the first two games at home, just like Shaq and Kobe did. I have the Blazers taking games three and four. Damian Lillard will show the fight that he's always shown. I have the Lakers taking game five. I have the Blazers pulling it off in game six before the Lakers finish them off in game seven. I have the Lakers edging them out four games to three. So that's a, that's going to be a great series. Here we go. Eastern Conference. I have the Bucks winning all four games. I think the Greek Freak is going to be even more motivated after last year to help the Bucks get to where they need to be, and I think it's going to hurt everybody else. The Boston Celtics. I have them winning game one, two, three, and that's deal game four, and then the Celtics finish them off in five games. And this is I think the Celtics are really talented and that they're going to be one of the better teams in the East. And that's, the Nets are just going to run out of, get, run out of gas at the end. Uh, the Philadelphia Sixers, Joel Embiid is going to lead the Sixers on his back. And I think they're going to take the first two games of that series. Pacers will win game three and four. And then Embiid will just say, I'm done with this and lead the Sixers to a six-game series. Toronto Raptors and the Miami Heat. I have the Raptors winning game one, two, losing game three but winning the rest of the series. So by this point, you have you have an idea of how I think the talent in the NBA will go. And the conference semifinals, I have the Clippers winning game one, losing game two, losing game three, winning game four, winning game five, losing game six, and then finishing off the Jazz in game seven. So the Clippers will make it to their first ever Western Conference final. And yeah, that's amazing. I have the Lakers winning game one of their series, taking game two. I have them losing game three, losing game four, winning game five, and then finishing off the Rockets in game six. So you see how I think that the Lakers have surpassed the Rockets in terms of talent. In terms of ability, I think the Lakers are going to pass, the Rockets are going to pass the crown. LeBron James is going to make a deep run in the playoffs this year. I have the Greek Freak losing the first game to the Celtics before winning game two. Winning game three, four, finishing them off in five. So the Bucks are going to make it back to the Eastern Conference Finals again, behind the Greek Freak. And here we go, the series the rematch from last year, Sixers-Raptors. But this time, I have the Sixers winning game one, the Raptors winning game two, Sixers game three, game four, Raptors game five, and the Sixers finishing off in six. And the reason why I have the Sixers winning this year is because I think that Last year's loss is going to push them to the limit and that they're going to be more motivated to finally make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. And that's going to be what ends up ending the Toronto Raptors' reign as NBA champions. In the Conference Finals, I have Greek Freak winning Game 1, Game 2, Sixers winning Game 3 and 4. The reason why I'm having the Sixers win all these home games, I think they're going to feed off their home court. But I think the Greek Freak is going to do enough to win the series in six games. Um, for the Lakers and Clippers, I have the Lakers taking game one, Clippers taking game two. And the reason why that is because there really isn't no home court. And this would be the first Laker-Clippers series ever in the playoffs. So what a showdown it would be. I have the Clippers winning game three before the Lakers go, get hot and win the series in six games. So my NBA Finals prediction is Lakers versus Bucks. I have Kawhi Leonard losing in six games to LeBron James and Anthony Davis. And in the NBA Finals, I have a matchup of epic proportion. Lakers, Bucks. I have the Bucks winning game one, winning game two. The Lakers winning game three and four. But the Bucks will ultimately finish off the Lakers in six games. So my NBA champions are the Milwaukee Bucks. Do you agree with my predictions? Do you think the Milwaukee Bucks will win the NBA Finals? Do you think the Lakers or the Clippers or any other team will win the NBA Finals? Let me know in the prediction, predictions. Like, share, and subscribe.